Welcome to Legacy Temple Channel. Do you remember Romario? The nickname Baishinho, the little one, or shorty make you think of? So today we will talk about 90s the best strikers ever named Romario. Let's begin. The legacy of the best strikers ever Romario Romario de Souza Faria was born 29, January, 1966, known simply as Romario, is a Brazilian politician who previously achieved worldwide fame as a professional footballer. A prolific striker renowned for his clinical finishing, he scored over 750 goals and was the first player to score at least 100 goals for three different clubs. He is considered one of the greatest players of all time. Romario starred for Brazil in their 1994 FIFA World Cup triumph, receiving the Golden Ball as player of the tournament. He was named FIFA World Player of the Year the same year. He came fifth in the FIFA Player of the Century Internet Poll in 1999, was elected to the FIFA World Cup Dream Team in 2002, and was named in the FIFA 100 list of the world's greatest living players in 2004. In 1993, he moved to FC Barcelona and became part of Johan Cruyff's Dream Team, forming an exceptional strike partnership with Christo Stoikov. He won La Liga in his first season and finished as the top goalscorer with 30 goals in 33 matches. During the second half of his career Romario played for clubs within the city of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. During the second half of his career Romario played for clubs within the city of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. At the end of his career he also played briefly in Qatar, the United States and Australia. Considered a master of the confined space of the penalty area, his rapid speed over short distances took him away from defenders, and he was renowned for his trademark toe poke finish. With 55 goals in 70 appearances, Romario is the fourth highest goalscorer for the Brazil national team, behind Pele, Neymar, and Ronaldo. He is third on the all time list of Brazilian league's top scorers with 155 goals. He is the seventh highest goalscorer in the history of football with 780 goals in 1,000 official games. Romario started his political career in 2010, when he was elected deputy for the Brazilian Socialist Party. He was then elected senator in 2014. In 2017, he switched parties for Podemos, and in 2021, he joined the Liberal Party. On 5 February 2008, Romario announced his retirement both from playing and coaching, effective at the end of March. This move came somewhat unexpectedly, as fans anticipated that he would retire from playing, but not coaching. He made it clear that he will only concentrate on the FIFA Confederations Cup and helping with the 2014 FIFA World Cup. However, on 27 March, Romario denied that he had retired. Romario announced on 15 April 2008 at his DVD launch that he would retire from the game of football. He cited his weight as a major factor in his decision to retire from the game. Romario played for many clubs that spanned across five continents for over two decades. He scored 71 goals in 85 appearances for Brazil, including appearances and goals in the Olympics, and claimed to have scored over 1,000 club goals. Romario officially announced his retirement from playing, saying, Officially I am not playing anymore. I've stopped. My time is up. Everything has been a lot of fun. In August 2009, Romario announced that he would come out of retirement to play for America from Rio de Janeiro. He stated that he would play for the club to fulfill his late father's wishes. On 25 November 2009, Romario made his comeback. He came on during the 68th minute of the match between America and Arzal, replacing Adriano. Although he did not score, America won 2-0, which helped the club to win the Carioca Championship second division title. International career Romario's No. 11 Brazil shirt As a member of the Brazilian national team, Romario won the silver Olympic medal in Seoul in 1988, finishing as the top goalscorer with seven goals in six matches. He attained the status of national hero at the 1989 Copa America as he scored the only goal in the final against Uruguay to end Brazil's long trophy drought in front of their own fans at the Maracana. He was part of the Brazilian squad in the World Cups of 1990 and 1994. 
He scored 71 goals in 85 international matches including senior and Olympic teams, being the fourth highest goalscorer in the history of the Brazilian team. Style of play and recognition. He's a master of the reduced space of the penalty area. A square meter for him is like an acre. Why? Low center of gravity, powerful thighs so he can explode, wonderful finishing ability. Both because he's very proficient technically, but also because he's so cold in front of goal. Romario is regarded as one of the greatest and most prolific strikers of all time. His coach at Barcelona, Johan Cruyff, defined him as a genius of the goal area, as well as the greatest player he ever coached. His Brazilian compatriot Ronaldo, who played with him in his early career, reflected, Romario was the most decisive player who I played with, he was a great goal scorer, finisher, skillful, opportunist. I think I learned all of that from him, Italian playmaker Roberto Baggio said Romario is one of the greatest players of all time. He is a master of art in the penalty area, a view echoed by Paolo Maldini with, Romario was incredible in the penalty area, Diego Maradona on who was the best player he ever saw play, it is between Romario and Van Basten. Romario wore the number 11 shirt for most of his club and international career, which inspired Neymar's number at Santos, he also went on to wear number 11 for Barcelona. Along with two other FIFA World Player of the Year recipients, Brazilian compatriot Ronaldo and Liberian star George Weah, Romario was seen as a new breed of striker in the 1990s who would also operate outside the penalty area before running with a ball towards goal, with former France striker Thierry Henry stating. Ronaldo together with Romario and George Weah, reinvented the center-forward position. They were the first to drop from the penalty box to pick up the ball in midfield, switch to the flanks, attract and disorientate the central defenders with their runs, their accelerations, their dribbling. Nicknamed Baixinho Portuguese for the little one, or shorty, Romario was an extremely agile player, who possessed excellent balance on the ball, and significant strength in spite of his small stature, which made him particularly effective in tight spaces in the penalty area, and allowed him to retain possession of the ball when put under pressure by larger players. His low center of gravity and quick bursts of acceleration enabled him to outrun opponents over short distances and beat defenders with sudden turns or changes of pace, while his technique and finishing ability saw him score a wide variety of numerous goals, including goals from powerful and accurate first-time strikes notably through his trademark toe pokes with little backlift or even from chipped shots. His ball control and dribbling skills saw him use elaborate feints, such as dragging the ball around a defender without it leaving his foot, and the flip-flap while he could operate outside the penalty area in making runs from deep. Romario built a reputation as an extremely opportunistic goal poacher inside the penalty area. He was known for his intelligence, offensive movement, and positional sense, as well as his ability to find space in the area and lose his markers by making late runs. In addition to his goal scoring, he was also known for his speed, as well as his creativity and vision, which gave him the ability to link up with and provide assists for teammates. Romario in the Chamber of Deputies of Brazil on 6 May 2010 In the 2010 general election, Romario was elected to the Chamber of Deputies on the Brazilian Socialist Party ticket. He was the sixth most voted candidate for deputy in Rio de Janeiro. He pushed his political agenda against the 2014 FIFA World Cup in Brazil, denouncing the event as immersed in corruption and money laundering. He also expressed disagreement with Sean Kiley, Ricardo Teixeira, Jerome Balca, and Sepp Blatter. He is one of various figures claiming that the holding of the 2018 FIFA World Cup was stolen from England and sold to Russia in a part of 2011 scandal by FIFA. On 19 February 2014, Romario announced that he would run for the Brazilian Senate in the 2014 general election, and the decision was officially confirmed in June. On 5 October, Romario was elected to the Senate with the most votes received ever by a candidate representing the state of Rio de Janeiro. In June 2017, Romario left the PSB and joined Podemos, becoming president of the party in the state of Rio de Janeiro. In March 2018, Romario announced his run for governor of Rio de Janeiro in the Brazilian general election as a candidate for the centrist Podemos party. 
Romario finished in fourth place with 8.6% of valid votes in April 2021. Romario switched parties again to the Liberal Party in October. He publicly endorsed the president of Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro, and criticized the previous administration of Luis Inácio Lula da Silva. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to know more about the soccer player of 90s, please subscribe, like and share.